Hey guys, I'm back with another video and today we I'm going to do a science experiment. I'm really excited. So, yeah, today I'm going to do iodine, uh, detective iodine from the same kit we, uh, from we did like the chemical reefs. Diffusion. So, let's start, okay? Ooh, today again we are going to meet with CUSO4. Nice. We need CUSO4. In a, a big spoon of that. And obviously I am using reused cups because the three R's and plastic is non-biodegradable so we need to reuse it more so one big spoon of this and then one more big spoon of this potassium iodine Of this, like the whole big spoon of this. E. Okay. Um. Very weird. But let's move on. I think we need to do this quickly. So here we need our fingerprints. So I'll just, it, as it is telling, wipe your forehead with three fingers and leave fingerprints on the sheet of paper. Don't know. I think I could see my fingerprints. Can you see my fingerprints? No. Now you will see. And leave this on the stop for 15 minutes. So I think it's been about 15 minutes and I think more than 15 minutes but so I'm really 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 excited to see how my fingerprints have turned out. Here if you can see I had touched the paper and put it like this so my fingerprints are here also and I'm really excited to see like what will be the fingerprints below. So let's Wow, nice. These are really clearly visible. Stay away from the fumes. Really visible. Okay, so now if you can if you want to see it, just bring it a bit closer to the camera. Okay, now I'll explain the chemistry. So, potassium iodine or Ki is um, contains put iodine atoms with an extra electron, and CuSO4 um, contains Cu, which is copper minus some electrons, like without two electrons. So CuSO4 um, takes electrons from the iodine and then oxidizes. Oxidizes. So then, like the latter likes to bond in pairs. So when these molecules form, the solution turns brown, as you can see here. Iodine is quite volatile. This means that its molecules leave the solution easily and disperse in a form of a purple gas. So iodine sticks to fats really well, like very nicely. So we, uh, when I rubbed 
the my fingers on my forehead it forehead it took the fats and i left it on the paper so now the fats are transferred on the paper and yeah the fingerprints that are there then turn brown because of the purple gas so that's it for my video and i'll see you guys next time